Hello party people. I don't know what we're gonna be doing today. We're just gonna be hanging out, okay? All I know is that I'm not wearing leggings. I have actual pants on, you can't see. And they zipped, most importantly. But just because they zipped does not mean that they fit. <laughs> I need new clothes that fit me, that I can nurse in, that like make me feel slash look semi-decent that aren't workout clothes because let's be real, that's what I've been living in for the past almost two months, whatever. This little girl is ready for a nap, but I have to run to a couple of stores and I've been meaning to get her newborn blood screening test done again. It's a big thing. Let me change her before she falls asleep on me and I'll explain. Little Meredith has been growing out of her clothes too. She's so sleepy. She's probably gonna throw a fit. <laughs> She's falling asleep. So we had her blood screening done, her newborn screening test. It tests for a lot of stuff. We had it done and they sent us a paper uh, saying that like the test was inconclusive. They needed to run it again. I know. They said I could do it at my, at her doctor's appointment, at her doctor's office. So I was like, okay, so her two week checkup, I brought her in and they said, oh, we don't offer that here anymore. So I was like, okay, I, maybe I'll just go back to the hospital and get it done. So I called the hospital and they said, oh yeah, you can't bring her back here because she, like technically she's not a patient there anymore. I don't know. This happened with Avelina and I had to get it redone and I just brought her back to the hospital, but I had Meredith at a different hospital. <sighs> Short story long, I've been trying to get a hold of Quest Diagnostics for four weeks and then it was like Christmas and all that stuff. Needless to say, I have not gotten it done yet. I'm the worst. I feel like a terrible mom. I don't know. They So they sent me a letter like saying, hey, you need to get this done. So I feel like I need to get it done. But whenever I go, they're always closed. Meredith, they're always closed. Not only are they always closed, they're like the hardest company to talk to a human being on the phone. I've spent literal hours trying to find a way to just talk to a human being on the phone. Here she is, outfit of the day. Little kitty cats. This, I think, it was either Eleanor's or Avelina's outfit. You look so cute. <laughs> Meredith. You ready for a nappy? Yeah. She's growing out of her clothes. Did I mention that? Growing so fast. So I also feel like I need to buy her new clothes, but then also feel like, gosh, she has so much. I also need to go through it. Oh, are you talking? What else do you have to say? Mom, I'm tired. Hi. What else do you want to say? She's so sweet. Also, I know this is so dumb, but Meredith turns three months on Valentine's Day. So I got this like blanket, one of you sent it to me. It's like so Instagram worthy, right? And since I'm a total Instagram model, I feel, I feel like I should buy Meredith a little Valentine's Day outfit. When I lay her out, I just think it would be so cute. So I think I'm gonna search for one today with you. Are you up for it? Let's go. One Direction is playing. Don't know what it is. in low places. Garth Brooks on the radio. It's a good day. Just give me an hour and then. Of course, I came to Once Upon a Child to look for Valentine's Day stuff and they did not disappoint. Holy cow. This is so sweet. They even have like a little section over here for like strawberry festival stuff. I don't know what else it would be for. Strawberry season, look how cute that is. And I found something down here that was precious, this one. Oh my goodness, adorable. This is what I have found for Valentine's Day. These are all of mine that I've picked out and selected. I have four kids, I have a problem. I, I can't choose for Meredith. They're all so sweet. 
three months. I have to remember she's going to be three months old. That is just darling. There's just way too many to choose from. That little sweater. And then this may be for Eleanor. Eleanor, it's a dress. And then Avelina options. That little cat. I'm probably going to get that one. Oh, wait. One of them comes with a skirt. This one for Eleanor. Honorary mention. Daddy is my first love. Oh my gosh. And look at those pants. It's not her size, but it's so cute. They're also playing One Direction here. Are they making a comeback? I was just informed all of the clearance items. Oh, look at those cute pants are a dollar. And this is all like that's a dollar. That set. This is a dollar. Like what? How can you not go crazy with your kid's wardrobe? Are you kidding me? What? You'll be proud of me. I only got the Valentine's Day stuff. Uh, it was Madhouse in there. You know, because everything was on clearance. So peace out, Once Upon a Child. It's been real and it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. Plus this girl started to get a little fussy. Now she's passed out again, of course. I came to look at some Valentine's Day stuff and of course I knew they would have some, but a lot of it is so red and I'm just over red from Christmas. That is really darling. Look at those sweet headbands but seven dollars no thank you i'm now home i put together this crock pot meal not that showing you the crock pot gives you any indication of what's inside of it but you'll see it in my what's for dinner video spoiler alert it's butternut squash chili i can't wait i hope it's delicious i had butternut squash chili <sighs> It's been forever. I want to say like almost two years ago. And when we had it, Alex and I, we were like, this is amazing. So I found a recipe. It's basically chili, but instead of meat, you add butternut squash. So we'll see how it turns out. Cheers. Uh, hydrate. Don't forget to hydrate. I'm so thirsty. Breastfeeding makes me more hungry than when I was pregnant. It's probably equal. Let's just be real though. I'm always hungry regardless if I'm pregnant, not pregnant, nursing, not nursing. I love food. You know who else I love? Meredith. She's so sweet. And I know you guys are just dying to know what I got the girls for Valentine's. I got the um, bigger girls something because they have celebrations at school and they like to dress up for it. I found out the hard way. One year we didn't have anything and they were really bummed. <laughs> So it's worth it to spend like a few dollars on cute little outfits. So these two are for Eleanor. I couldn't pick just one. And then I was kind of worried that long sleeved wouldn't fit her or she wouldn't like that. I don't know. I just bought them both. No big deal. I had a coupon anyway. And then I got this for Avelina. They didn't really have much in her size in the Valentine's department. So I might look at Target. And then the big event, my sweet little Merida. The babies are just so cute to dress, right? So I got this. Uh, 450 but it's baby gap and it is so darling and then I got these pants on clearance for a dollar and I just thought oh my gosh right I mean she can wear that any day of the week it does not have to be a Valentine's Day same with this one same with all of them really but this one is very delicate very sweet it says I heart you and then the cute little sleeve right there this was 250 onesie and then these pants were on clearance for a dollar as well so I figured she could like those are just so cute I almost got Meredith a cute little outfit from target.com and it was either like 10 or 15 dollars and that's what i ended up spending on all of this so bargain town central i'm looking at my diaper pail and i think it's time that uh i wash diapers because this thing won't even close it's so full and this is a mess from this morning this is dirty I love her little laundry basket, like a makeshift laundry basket. It's an organization bin, but it's just so perfect. Let's bring this to the laundry. A lot of you have asked me for a cloth diaper routine, and I hate to disappoint, but it's so simple. Someone's at my front door. Who is that? I'm gonna hide. <laughs> they could probably see my legs. It's a salesperson. I can see them straight through my window. Bye, not interested. He's still there, who cares? What was I talking about? Cloth diaper routine. Yeah, so I keep things super simple. Dirty diapers in the pail. If they're exclusively breastfeeding, you don't have to rinse it out. I used to do that, but 
I don't have time for that anymore. And then you just throw it straight into your wash. It's nothing nasty about it. They're all folded up. It's not like poop is hanging out all around here. I mean, it kind of is. You still have to like wash your hands and stuff. He knocked again. I bet he saw me. Bye. And what I do is I grab the disinfectant spray and I just spray it in here every time I empty it. Good to go. Okay, just wash my hands. I can hear Alex talking to the gentleman outside with like through the ring. Does this make me a terrible person that I'm not answering the door? I mean, I can see his clipboard. He's just trying to sell me some. Like, I don't want solar panels. I don't need encyclopedias. <laughs> I know they don't sell those anymore. Okay, um, I use these Tide Pods. They're free and clear. This is what I have pretty much always used. And if you're using like liquid detergent or, or powder detergent, use half as much. These are pods, so you can't really like cut them in half. And I just, oh, nope, where'd it go? Oh man, I jumped the gun, where'd it go? Found it. Don't throw that in yet. I'm distracted talking to you. You just close it, now oh, I have to wash my hands again. And do a rinse cycle only. And then after the rinse cycle, uh, the detergent, you throw it in and just wash it as you normally would. You can even throw like clothes in there if you want to or anything else. And then you can either line dry them or throw them in the dryer. I used to line dry mine, but now I'm like, who has time for that? I, well, I used to, I'm, I used to, but I don't anymore. So I throw that crap in the dryer. You can lower the heat, uh, but my diapers are fine. My Velcro is fine and whatever. Super simple. And when they come out of the dryer, I just shove them straight into a drawer. Isn't my drawer so nice and organized? Aren't you jealous of this? Um, I used to, and maybe I will show you, I used to pack them all and then line them up so nicely, but now I just shove them in the drawer and when it's time for a diaper change, I grab an, an inside, what is this, an insert, and then I, you know, shove it in the, cause I have put, these are pocket diapers, and then throw it on her. You know what I mean? Like this. I did it for you. Also, most of mine are from cottonbabies.com and they are Bum Genius 5.0 if you're curious. And then I do have the Cotton Babies Free Time, which like is not a pocket diaper. Look at those stains, I'm so sorry. But they're supposed to give you more free time because you don't have to sit there and, um, you know, stuff diapers. Speaking of diaper changes, hello Meredith. Meredith just woke up. You say hi. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Oh, hi. Do you like your cloth diapers? Are they so comfortable? Oh, she smiled. I missed it. Meredith. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Meredith. There you are, you sweet girl. You're a squiggly wiggly worm. You're squiggly wiggly. Hi. Oh, I love you. <laughs> Couple other things I wanted to share about cloth diapers. I wash mine every other day. And yes, they do get stained on the inside and you can lay them out in the sun and the stains will go away. It's magic, the sun is magic. Uh, but I don't care because they're on the inside of the diaper. Like, no one's going to be looking at the inside. <laughs> no one's going to be looking at your kid's diapers anyway. Um, oh, and we use cloth wipes. When I'm home, I use this. I just, they're little baby washcloths. And I put them in a, di uh, whatever this is called, a warmer with a bunch of water in it. So it stays warm and nice for Meredith, yes. And what else was I going to say? Oh, buttons. Mine are Velcro. I bought a few buttoned one. I still don't like them, but I bought a few of them because, <laughs> are you dancing? Because the Velcro ones, I think they're doing away with those. And I bought them on like a sale, which I think they're like discontinuing them, but I'm glad that I got them because I absolutely love them and they're just convenient and easy and all that good stuff. And I think that's all I have to say about cloth diapers. If you have questions, ask me down below and I'll share my wealth of knowledge. I've clothed, this is my fourth baby, I've clothed. And in the beginning, people, like family members, they were like, oh, huh, of course, you're gonna try cloth. And we were like, yep, don't buy us diapers, we're gonna do cloth. And they were like, okay. Well, look at us now, okay? <laughs> oh, a new day, a new cat outfit. Look how sweet you are, Meredith. 
You're just born to love cats, I think. Her, <laughs> her little bloomers down here barely cover her large diaper, but that's okay. Oh, and P.S., I wanted to share with you guys. Oh, hi. Um, are you going to talk? No. Her rash, her newborn rash, has almost completely gone away. <laughs> she scratched herself on the nose right there. It was the most traumatic experience she's had thus far in her life. <laughs> I've never heard her cry the way she cried when, you know, the pain cry. I was like, oh my god. And it was like out of nowhere. She just like scratched herself. I was baby wearing her. It was so bizarre. Anyway, her newborn rash is going away and a lot of you were like, oh, what did you do? What helped? Can I be completely honest with you? Um, nothing helped, <laughs> which is exactly what the doctor would say or exactly what he did say. He said, uh, you can try, because I said, oh, should I do X, Y, Z? And he said, you can try those things, but really nothing's going to help it. It just goes away on its own. <laughs> and he was right. But I did try this. I feel like this helped, and a lot of you guys agreed that you liked this. And uh, breast milk. I use breast milk the most. And um, some of you made a lot of great suggestions, like Tubby Todd, is that a brand? One of you suggested that. That's just coming to the tip of my mind, but there were so many suggestions, but this is the only thing I actually bought, and then I used a bunch of uh, breast milk on it. <laughs> Hi! Yeah! So it's looking better, and it's feeling a lot nicer, too. So, Oh, but she does have that cradle crap. We're working on that. One issue after another. Am I right? Hi, Meredith. <laughs> so it's been a while, but I, I just washed her hair for her cradle crap, and ugh, <laughs> it's not focusing because she's moving so much. Oh, maybe there it is. Her cradle cap is so, it's so gross. <laughs> Let's just be real. I have been putting, people have told me to use, oh, really? People have told me to use like coconut oil or some kind of oil on her head. <laughs> Turns out she's hungry. So some people have told me to just rub any kind of oil on her head, olive oil, coconut oil. I have coconut oil, um, like fractionated coconut oil, so I don't even know if that will work. I also have like the virgin, extra virgin, uh, I don't know what it is, I don't know. But I have been doing that, like keeping it moisturized, and I got this brush. This brush from Frida Mom. I freaking love the Frida brand. And that is supposed to help with the cradle cap too. And then I guess there's special shampoos for it that a lot of you have told me about, but I have not done the research yet, nor have I bought it, so there's that. I guess I need to hop on Amazon or something, but all of my kids have had this. So it's not uncommon and it'll go away eventually. I just want it to go away a little faster. So I'm gonna look through your comments right now actually, and try to find the shampoo that everyone was raving about. Okay, but that's it. And if we do happen to go tomorrow uh, to get her newborn blood work done, if they even do it at the location, or even accept her as a pay, I don't know guys, it's so confusing and complicated. She has her two month checkup, so there's really so many things I need to do. I need to like add her to my insurance officially. <sighs> and doing that takes forever. I think anything involving insurance takes forever. Anyway, that's it. If I, if we do get that done and I happen to snap a piece of footage for it, I will add it here. But otherwise, that's it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed your time. If you did, subscribe, put some happy in your day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.